I don't know what it is like I've always had this dream and I know it's never gonna happen I literally feel like Blair Waldorf feel like I should be waking up on the Upper East Side November's actually a special month in this family I'm so excited <laughs> So we are filming another vlog today. It's gonna to be a really chill one. So it's a Monday today It's the 1st of November. It's 9 a.m. And I just did my makeup as you guys saw and I am gonna go meet Shafa for some Pastries. I found like this new French patisserie place. That I really want to try out So I'm gonna go with Shafa and I haven't seen her in a while So it's gonna be nice to like catch up with her and everything. Oh so before we get started I just want to shout out the sponsor of today's video So today's vlog is kindly sponsored by Lily Silk as I am so excited to be working with them I've watched like my favorite youtubers always rave on about this brand So I'm really excited to share this with you guys. It's so on point for this channel because you guys know know I always talk about self-care and indulging in yourself a little bit and kind of just going that extra mile to make yourself feel good whether that be in like self-care such as bubble baths or yoga or exercise or just like buying yourself a nice set of pajamas or hair care, skin care. So Lily Silk is a brand where you can find all kinds of quality silk products. Their products are mainly made out of mulberry silk which have so many benefits skin wise and hair care wise. All their products come individually boxed. Even the pillowcase came in like this cute little box so that they'd be amazing gifts as well. I'm wearing two of their pieces right now. I've got their headband on, their silk headband, which is so cute. And then I've got their silk pajamas on as well. You guys know I'm obsessed with headbands. So this is a great addition to my collection. And I'm wearing their pajamas. You can see like how shiny they are because they're so soft and they feel amazing and smooth on my skin. Like I had the best sleep last night because I had like my pajamas set on and then I had my silk pillowcase as well. I felt so glamorous, such amazing quality. It doesn't feel itchy at all and it's really, really good for sensitive skin. I'll stand up for you guys. Yeah, that's what they look like. They were also kind enough to gift me their pillowcase, which I was using at the start of this video. So even if you wash like your normal pillowcase regularly, they still breed a lot of dust mites and bacteria, which isn't good for your skin, of course, and it's not good for your hair either. So because Lily Silk pillowcases are 100% mulberry silk, there's just so many benefits towards your hair, your skin. When you put your skincare at night, your skincare won't rub off, it'll actually stay on your skin, which I never thought about like your skincare rubbing off at night but it makes sense also it prevents wrinkles because your skin's not on a rough surface obviously like you want a silk pillowcase it's anti-aging also prevents your hair from getting frizzy during the night because there's less friction between your pillowcase and your hair so i thought i'd just give you a close-up of the pillowcase as you can see it's literally shining it's super soft and it's just really gentle on your skin and face and these are available in loads of different colours so you can get one to like match your whatever colour your bedding is. But me and Shafa were actually talking the other day and she's kind of telling me how her hair feels a bit dry lately and she feels like it's breaking more easily. So I thought I would gift her one of the Lily Silk pillowcases. I'm going to make her a little hamper with like other hair care bits and I honestly think it will really help her out. So first I want to show you the silk shirt that they gifted me as well. It's such a classic and a staple and I can just wear it in so many different 
different ways on so many different occasions. So this is the shirt that I was gifted. It looks so chic. Again, it's mulberry silk, so it's extremely breathable and it just feels so soft on my skin. So yeah, I just want to give a huge shout out for Lily Silk for sponsoring this video. I'm so grateful to be working with them. And if you guys want to shop any of the Lily Silk products that I talk about, I've left all the links down below as well as a specialized code that you guys can use for money off your purchase but yeah i'll leave the code down below i'm just waiting on shop for now i don't know what's taking her so long she actually rang me in the morning and woke me up and she's like i'm getting ready and so i was like crap and i was like rushing around and i got everything done and she's still not here i thought i'd show you the gift that i got her so first i got her the lily silk pillowcase of course and then i got her some hair oil that i love to use I got her this head massager that you kind of just work your shampoo in with and it exfoliates your scalp. And then I got her two microfiber head wrap towels. But yeah, I hope she likes it. I'm going to put it in a little bag and surprise her. I definitely think she's going to like the pillowcase. Guess who's here? Hi. Oh, you look so pretty. We're going to go get breakfast. Are you not wearing a coat? Yeah, Ooh. maybe I'll put a coat on. Isn't it so soft? It feels so soft. I changed my outfit. I put a sweater vest on because it's quite cold. Yes. I gave her her present already, guys. What? Oh, I, get, I was gonna go on camera, but I don't like showing people's reactions. But do you like it? It's, it's actually perfect because this yeah. morning, like, I've been getting a lot of broken hairs. Yeah. And I was literally crying this morning because I was like, oh. it looks like, look at my hair, like, it looks like staticky. Yeah, mine's always been like yeah. that. Yeah. Um, so well, perfect. now you're part of the Mulberry Silk Pillowcase gang. Thanks. I was literally thinking the other day I need to order a silk pillow and a silk bonnet. <laughs> No, you just need a pillowcase. You need a bonnet. Oh yeah, if I have the pillowcase. Yeah. Then, oh. Perfect. Yay. lattes and I got caramel in mine. Oh, vanilla. I'm not sure. I don't remember. That's Shabazz. So I got, yeah, you can. I got the veggie breakfast. Is this potato? Yeah, I think so. It looks like it. And then Badge got the, what are they called? Fluffy pancakes. Mm -hmm. That was really nice. Um, this looks beautiful. Hey guys, so it is Tuesday today. I was planning on just having an editing day. I wasn't even planning on getting out my pajamas today. I was just going to sit at my desk and edit all day. But the weather is really nice and I wanted to take advantage of it because the sun was even shining this morning. Yeah, recently we've just had so much rain. So I thought, let me just quickly put some makeup on. I did a red lip because that's just the easiest makeup look to do. And yeah, I took some pictures, got a cool picture in this coat. I know not everyone's gonna love it. I asked Chef Maria and Chef's husband and they all didn't like the coat, so I was like, damn. I'm just gonna get undressed now, take my makeup off and get some lunch and then I will continue editing. Me and Neha filmed this really cute like girl talk video, like advice. Oh, sorry, I'm trying to get my coat off. Um, and I really like how it turned out. I haven't obviously edited it yet, but I think it was really funny. Whilst we were filming it, I don't know, let's look back. Also, the park was really muddy because, as, as I said, it was raining. And the past few days, so my jeans are, like, drenched. I wore wide leg jeans like an idiot, and there's mud all over them, so gonna have to put those in a wash it's a little bit later and i'm having my cup soup i think i was having this in a vlog before but it's just really cold and it's literally a sachet and you pour boiling water in it so it's just quick and easy i'm making veggie lasagna on friday so i'm gonna film that for you guys i'm really excited i love this new cooking baking segment i have on my channel just think it's like really soothing watching other people cook and then obviously you can copy the recipes and loads of you like dm'd me on instagram showing me that you made my banana bread and it made me so happy we are having spaghetti bolognese tonight that's why i didn't want to have anything heavy for lunch but i'm so i love spaghetti bolognese i actually helped my mom make it um, I've been getting cooking lessons. Um, I know it's really embarrassing. I'm 23 and don't know how to cook. Well, I do now, but I'm learning now. So it's fine. I know a few recipes now. Yesterday I made dal. It's, sorry if I say this wrong, but it's the monkey muscle dal. I made spaghetti bolognese yesterday with my mom. And then 
uh, I have all the the recipe like written on my phone and then what else I made a jarry chicken oh gima pasta I re my mom makes this amazing gima vegetable pasta it's so good um, but let me know like, obviously when I get a bit more experienced with making Asian dishes Let me know if I should incorporate that into like my cooking segments um, I don't know. I feel like that would be fun because that's like a lot of what I eat is Asian food, obviously um, And it's so exciting learning how to cook Asian food. I don't know. I found it really fun um, but yeah, I will keep you guys updated on my cooking lessons. It's going well so far I feel like I'm good at making English food because it's really easy. You just follow um, the recipe But um, I think Asian food's more like delicate a lot of it's like eyeballing and I don't know and obviously like all the spices and stuff. I went on a little walk today whilst I was taking my pictures I went past such a cute street. The houses were so cute and they all had like they were all still decorated for Halloween and they had like pumpkins outside um, Obviously, it's not October anymore. It's like the 3rd of November So I don't think they've had a chance to take the decorations out, but it was so cute and all the trees are still like yellow and orange um, but it was really cosy. I felt like I was in a little movie. But yeah, I'm obsessed with looking at houses. I know it's really, I don't know if that's creepy, but I just love looking at houses. I don't know if anyone else does this, but in my spare time, like I look at apartments online, it's my favorite thing to do. I will literally spend hours looking at houses and apartments in Manchester. And then I'll like go through all the pictures. I know that's really sad, um, but it's like my dream to live in apartment in an apartment by myself. Um, I don't know what it is. Like I've always had this dream, and I know it's never gonna happen because obviously I'm an Asian girl. It's not like I don't love staying with my family. Like that's not it. I just think it's because I'm really introverted. I just think it'd be cool to have my own space. I've heard other people do that too, but let me know if you guys do it because sometimes I feel a bit weird. Any chance you could sound more like a cartoon villain? Come on, Alex. It's three solid days of winter fun. We're gonna go sledding, skating, ice fishing, make snow angels. Who's with me? No! No! I just got my Amazon package with my new books and I'm so excited. These are the two books I got. So the first one is The Spanish Love Deception. I heard about this all over TikTok, of course. I'll read the blurb out. A wedding, a trip to Spain, the most infuriating man and three days of pretending. In other words, a plan that will never work. Oh, it kind of sounds like that film. I think it's called Wedding Date where she like pay someone to be her date to a wedding because she doesn't want to be single i hope it's like that apparently it's like enemies to lovers which i'm really excited about and then um i also got this one it's called it happened one summer by tessa bailey i only got it because i don't know if you follow brooke on youtube she's like a new york blogger but she always posts about what books she's reading and she said it was a really good read so i'll read the blurb out to you piper is fashionable and influential and her reputation as a wild child means that the paparazzi are constantly on her heels when too much champagne and an out of control rooftop party land piper in the slammer her stepfather decides enough is enough so he cuts her off and sends her to her sis and her sister to learn some responsibility running their late father's dive bar in Westport, Washington. Piper hasn't even been in Westport five minutes when she meets big bearded sea captain Brendan Taggart. He thinks she won't last a week outside Beverly Hills. So what if Piper couldn't do maths and the idea of sleeping in a shabby apartment with bunk beds gives her hives? How bad could it really be? She's determined to show her stepfather and the hot grumpy local she's more than a pretty face. I feel like it sounds like one of those Christmas movies you watch, you know, when the girl from like the big city comes back to her small town and then she falls in love with the local boy. Me and my mom love watching them, they're so bad and the acting's always terrible and the storyline is always the same but me and my mom love watching those Christmas movies. Uh, but yeah, I'm really excited to read these. I don't know which one I should read first. I think I'm gonna go with this one because this blurb seems way better. Anyway, I'm gonna take my makeup off now. I just thought I'd show you my new book haul. It's 
a little while later now i've just been editing and november is actually a special month in this family it is the month that we start our harry potter marathon i don't know if any other family is crazy like ours but we love harry potter me and mari in particular we're obsessed and we have to watch it every single year so we start it in november and every week we watch one harry potter movie that way by christmas we can watch harry potter the last two i think but we are gonna watch it even though it's the middle of the week we know we're gonna be busy on the weekend so we thought we're free why not watch it we're gonna go to the supermarket and get some snacks it's a damn long night trying, trying to figure out this life timmy bum my head take me somewhere oh let's get a trolley you not want trolley? Trolley secured. Now we're on our way. We're gonna try this. It's looking hella crusty though. though. Yeah, Wait, it looks like it wouldn't be gooey. It. <gasps> oh no, that one has the most. Chocolate. Okay, should we get it? No, it looks horrible. <laughs> <gasps> Bake or tart. If anyone knows any vegetarian chocolate mousses we can get, please let us know. Yeah, because literally anyone you pick out. Yeah. All, none of them are vegetarian. That looks gorgeous. Florida. Oh, what's that? That looks really oh, nice. Yeah, look. Mari, look at that pomegranate. I like two. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Two, yeah? Yeah. <gasps> Wait, make sure they have the straw in it. Yeah. Oh, this is bum. We're just checking if these are suitable for vegetarian. Look, they're like brownies. Um, It doesn't say that they're haram, but it doesn't say that they're suitable. We're going to the ice cream section. How come there's so many? Is the hype no, over? The hype was oh, I never had. Oh, I had one. Get the mango. The passion fruit mango. One. Yeah, yeah. I'm excited. Oh, I've never tried so these. exciting! Oh, we are now checking if the mince pies are halal. No, because sometimes I swear they are. I swear they have a, a vegetarian thing at the at the front. They always do. Yeah, it's vegan. vegan. No, but I think it has alcohol in it or something. Oh, right. Does it? Can Sometimes you see I buy vegan stuff and just think it's fine. I know, I know. But then, know. can't vegans have alcohol? What can yeah, vegans what, even have? I don't, I don't know. know. It's a good question. Why can't it just say halal on it? Because it's a Christmas product, Maria. Yeah, so They're not, we're not really the target audience. Oh, this that one contains fun. alcohol, so if it says it doesn't, then maybe it doesn't. Yeah, I'm sure it would say it right at the front. No? So look, they've got these huge toys here. So cute. New member of the family. What are you going to call him? Fluffy. He looks like a Marvin to me. Fluffy's going on a ride. <laughs> So Harry Potter movie marathon haul. We've got sweet and salted popcorn. This fudge cake, which I'm really excited to try. Me and Mazzy are gonna share it. It's a melt in the middle chocolate sponge pudding. And it looks really good. Um, chocolate buttons, triple chocolate ice cream, mince pies. Okay, so not all of this is for the marathon. Um, Oh yeah, that's it. But I got that light tea drink and I'm really excited to try Hi guys, I've just been having a really chill day. I went on a nice walk. The weather's really beautiful outside. Returned some packages. But now I am just gonna do, I'm just gonna make dinner. I'm gonna make some veggie lasagna. Um, one of my cousins, he actually has a food page and I don't even think he posts anymore, but I'll talk you through the recipe anyway. He's called Sriracha Kitchen on Instagram, I think. What was I gonna say? I was gonna put on makeup, but I really can't be bothered. And it's already like 3 p.m., so I kinda wanna get started with the food.
Okay, I feel like that took forever, but I've finally prepped everything that I need. So you're gonna need some olive oil, obviously your aubergines. So I have three aubergines here. Um, and basically I cut them into circles and then quartered them so they look like that. And then I have one diced onion, eight garlic cloves. I have three chopped tomatoes in here and then one chopped pepper. And then a tin of chopped tomatoes. Just have all my seasoning in there. You can use whatever seasoning you want, but I used oregano mixed herbs, chili flakes, salt and pepper, and then do as much as you want. You don't need to add chili flakes in here, but I don't know, I feel like my family likes spice, so I put it in. And then that's all you need for the lasagna. Oh, I'm gonna make breadcrumbs as well. Um, so I just use white bread for that, and then I have a manji mix that I'm gonna blend it all out in. And then for the cheese sauce, so this is separate, you need half a liter of milk, 50 grams of butter, four tablespoons of flour, plain flour, and then you need 100 grams of cheddar cheese or whatever cheese you want. I don't know. I think you can change the cheese. Double check that. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm not sure. The first thing we're going to focus on is our aubergine. So after you've evenly spread olive oil onto your aubergines, I put a little salt on there as well. We're going to put it in our oven at 200 degrees Celsius and then set it on a timer for 20 minutes. Just until they get brown. So we are going to prepare our sauce now and you need to start with the onions and garlic. So I'm going to crush the garlic first. We used to use a pestle and mortar to do that. But now we use this little garlic crusher that we got from Ikea and we all love using this. It's like a staple in our kitchen now. Okay, um, moving on to our tomato sauce. Heat up your pan with some oil in it. We're going to start off with the garlic and onions. Um, add a little bit of salt in it. It's getting a bit foggy but I'm just going to add my tinned tomatoes to the mix and then the rest of my veggies. So this is our three chopped tomatoes and our peppers going in now. I forgot to show this on camera but I just added some more tinned tomatoes, not a whole um, can, just like half a can more and then I added my seasoning in as well. Okay let's move on to the cheese sauce. So you want to heat up your milk first, mine's already heated and then I'm going to add my butter in. My butter has melted, I'm going to gradually add the flour into it and mix it with a whisk whilst I do so. Okay I feel like I've been mixing for years now but I'm getting there with the cheese sauce. Make sure you gradually add in the flour, keep whisking it and then gradually add in the cheese as well don't put them all in together but yeah it's really tedious you just have to keep whisking it um i've done the breadcrumbs in my maggi mix breadcrumbs are done and now we are going to layer it in our bowl with our lasagna sheets and our aubergines which are done as well so these are the ooh, lasagna sheets i'm going to be using you can literally use any you just layer each um ingredient basically uh, i'm gonna start with the sauce i don't know if there's like something you're meant to start with okay don't laugh at me but i'm gonna use a ladle to put it in Layering my aubergines. Mari's telling me about her day at uni, and now I just feel like a mother <laughs> whose child's come home from school. Um, and then, uh, yes. So this is how my lasagna is looking. I'm really excited to put it in the oven. I've got the breadcrumbs on top. The pan, like the bowl that I have it in, is not that deep, so. 
it's kind of overflowing i hope that doesn't affect it because it's not like rising or anything uh so the last step is basically you put it in the oven for 180 to 200 degrees celsius for 35 minutes hi guys i never do a voiceover but i just wanted to say i know that you're not meant to put lasagna sheets at the top but i know that now so if you make this please don't put the lasagna sheets at the top yeah i learned that the hard way when i was like why is the top crunchy you need the sauce on top to cook it oh my gosh hi guys so it is a little while later now everyone loved the vegetable lasagna i realized it didn't take an end clip of it um but it just looked like a normal lasagna so i think it's okay i am gonna get into bed now i've got my pajamas on and i am gonna be reading this book i'm halfway through it i'm ready that i can get so far but i'm just gonna get into bed and read for a bit so i will see you guys in my next vlog i really hope you guys enjoyed this one and again thank you to lily silk for sponsoring this video and i'll see you guys next time bye <laughs>